but after jesus just as you told about the apocryphal writings trying to co-op jesus you also see that unlike any other religious figure jesus has gained a sort of popularity and acceptance across religions and culture so if you come here to india you will see jesus you know if you go to hindu homes you, households you will see jesus being a, a figure of jesus being planted with many other gods of the hindu pantheon so he is revered as an avatar a sadhu uh, you know yeah. um, uh, a great sage or you know even a god as uh, one of the many gods so what really explains this transcultural influence that jesus has had on these other cultures yeah and unsurprisingly all the world religions that are are the begin after the life of jesus like like you know islam and uh amadi muslims um the bahai uh even like new age thinkers uh hari krishna these things that emerge later in history you probably would be surprised to find that they're somehow going to adopt or include merge mention or modify in order to make room for jesus you'll find them on the pages of scripture of a lot of those other uh, world views um that follow jesus in the timeline but interesting like you mentioned hinduism and buddhism and, and zoroaster and addis and the Mithras and Heracles and all these re- religions and figures that precede Jesus by the time they move into the common era and now people are worshiping them worshiping them after the arrival of Jesus you'll find that religious leaders begin to adapt or modify or try to include Jesus like you said as a great sadhu as somebody who is an enlightened figure who fits well within the context of Buddhism he's on his way to buddhahood he's 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 a wise teacher he's a manifestation you know he's he's he somehow they will now say that, well you know Jesus is we we like Jesus too and they'll even these leaders of these systems will even repeat episodes they'll talk about the content of the gospels so that if all you were was living some place where one of these world religions has got a leader who is talking about Jesus in this favorable way you know something about Jesus even though you're in a non-christian country and you know that from the teaching of your um leaders or from your own scripture you know Islam for example includes Jesus but interestingly even those religions that no one's worshiping anymore like Addis or Heracles or or Mithras um these are deities that no one's worshiping anymore but after Jesus arrives they all modify their practice this is in some way that either now meeting and having a something that looks similar to the lord's supper because of the influence of christianity they're using titles on the deities that never used before because they're borrowing them from christianity they all use concepts of 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 what jesus's mission was now they'll kind of apply it to their deity they are shaping and modifying in response to christianity now isn't that interesting that you can learn so much about Jesus and I have a list also of what you can know about Jesus from non-Christian traditions the non-Christian religious traditions um you really aren't going to know anything though about Buddha from Christianity you're not going to know anything about anybody else Jesus does not det- uh, return the favor everyone loves Jesus and wants them in their system but Jesus does not make room in the scriptures or in his teaching for anybody else. He says, "No, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." It's an exclusive position he holds. And that's interesting to me that everyone won't love Jesus, but Jesus is very reserved about his adoration of anything else. It, it's just it's blasphemy. So, so I think that sometimes when you work a case where you've got a bunch of suspects for one crime, one of them is eventually going to emerge in a different way where he's going to stand out uniquely. he has unique access to the victim or unique reason to despise her or he has a unique ability to build the weapon that is used in the case or he's got unique access he can get in the house in a way that nobody else can there's something about this guy which separates him from all the rest well this is one of the ways that Jesus is separate from all the rest he has an exclusive position and he holds on to that exclusivity and he even says by the way there's nothing you could do to earn your way to the better life to nirvana to the next life to the presence of god the presence of deity to become a deity there's no way you could do that on your own instead of what everyone else is telling you i'm here to tell you i have to do this for you you can't do anything it's all grace top down that view is another way that jesus stands out uniquely and like suspects who stand out uniquely when i see that i typically think okay i probably have the right guy 